Yeah. I think that we we are still closer to occult symbolism that we might be comfortable with acknowledging. And it's interesting because the same way that like under a Catholic monarchy, no decision would be made at any institutional level without first thinking, well, how is this going to be viewed in the eyes of God? We do the same thing in this country, except well, how are black people or how are gay people going to feel about this? So we are literally, as Tim said, worshiping like this well, hold on. idea. I, I agree and I disagree. I think uh, it's not even about race. Because Candace Owens, they don't they, they don't care what she and Kanye have to say or Kyrie Irving. Mm -hmm. Like all of a sudden their race is erased from the conversation. It really is just we have a cult. We have things we claim. And if you agree with it, that's what they're. So they're really talking about the religion. Like it makes it more more about the religion. How does this impact our religion is basically how they view it. I think that's true, but I think if Candace Owens were saying things that they agreed with, uh, then she would be, you know, a face on MSNBC or something like that. I think it's because they view her as basically a race traitor that she's now disinvited from the conversation because she's an Uncle Tom or whatever. Mm. But but it's it's it. I guess this is my point. Candace Owens can have similar opinions to Ben Shapiro, mm -hmm. and Ben Shapiro's Jewish and she's black, and it doesn't matter. But then you can have someone uh, who's that MSNBC woman who got fired recently. I can't remember, but uh, it, it's like it's like the race doesn't matter. It's it's if do you agree with them or don't you agree with them? If you're a white person, and you agree with them, you're in. If you're a black person and you disagree with them, you're out. Yeah, I think that the but Candace would be considered like an outlier with what they regard to be like black interest or things like that. I mean, she is a dissenting mm -hmm. voice within America and with also uh, the black community. So I think that, you know, even on Twitter, every time she goes viral, all of the replies are from black people calling her a race trader, calling her Uncle Tom, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so even regardless of skin color, I mean, she's still serving, I think, what they ultimately want, which is like enforced equality in this country.